hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about ios 15.5 beta 4 update on my iphone 10r as you can see from the screenshot this update came in about 506.1 mb on my iphone 10r and i have been using this iphone 10r for a very long time so in this video we are going to talk about this update and how possibly you can update if you have a beta profile installed and what about the new features are there any changes in the battery health percentage i'm gonna talk about that so make sure you are watching this video till the end before starting the video i would like all of you to hit the like button if you do like the video and also consider subscribing to the channel because this gives me a lot of motivation to make more such kind of videos now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and general and about section as you can see if i tap on the software version the new build number is 19f 5070b so in the end the letter b means that you know we are probably going to see one more betas after that we might get to see the release candidate or probably possibly you know after the next week we can probably see ios 15.5 final release which will be released for the public now before updating i had taken a screenshot let me see you know before updating as you can see the build number was 19 f5062g and also as you can see talking about the modem firmware update you know before updating it was 4.04.02 and after update as well it is 4.04.02 so in terms of modem firmware update on my iphone 10r there is no change at all so there is no new modem firmware update with ios 15.5 beta 4 now talking about the storage before updating it was 24 gb approx and after updating as you can see it is also 24 gb so no uh, changes in terms of storage as well as i said before if you have a beta profile installed then you know go to the general and click on software updates you would be automatically able to see the update now this update is not for everyone who are having ios 15.4.1 update they would not be able to install unless you are having a beta profile installed now let's talk about what's new with this update so definitely if you're talking about new features and expecting new changes with this update there will be uh, no changes at all because we are very close to ios 15 5 and possibly after few months we'll get to see ios 16 in wwdc so expect new changes in that so there are no changes i was able to find at least in terms of new features or in terms of anything that apple adds to this update now talking about the battery life people are most concerned about the battery life let me go to the battery section quickly and let me click on battery health as you can see after updating the battery health remains 89 percent so there is no fluctuation in the battery health and guys always i tell this if you update to the latest ios doesn't mean that it will degrade the battery life if you see a sudden drop in the battery health percentage that's because you have not been updating your iphone for so long and it has been already degrading inside but you were just not able to see the numbers but now you have updated updating process actually recalibrates the physical battery so now you are able to see the correct representation of your battery health so that's the reason now talking about the battery life as you can see i don't use this device as my primary device but still as you can see from the graph itself the screen on time and the screen off time let me know if you are using an iphone 10r and if you are using ios 15 beta software series and let me know how is the battery life going for you now talking about the performance performance is really good as always there is no issue with the performance as we are coming close to you know ios 16 the performance feels very refined and very smooth so there is no issue at all with the performance also for your reference i have ran geekbench 5 score as you can see the single core came in about 1107 and multi-core score came on about 2203 i always tell you this because this you know geekbench 5 is just a representation of the numbers this actually does not translate to the real world performance so if you're having an iphone 10r and if you have been using it for quite some time let me know how is it holding for you probably you are not using the beta softwares but then again do let me know if you're loving your iphone 10r because if you ask me i absolutely love this phone although i have switched to iphone 12 last year so then again this was a quick video talking about the ios 15.5 
beta 4 update talking about the changes then again i said there were no changes at all and talking about the resolve changes i just wanted to mention one thing if you go to the general and iphone storage because people seems to you know have a lot of confusion regarding iphone storage so iphone storage bug has been resolved so people have been asking me if you scroll down you would be able to see ios data and system data so as you can see mine is taking 9.22 gb so if your ios data is taking more than you know 10 gb or you know more than 20 gb then there is something you know you could probably do about it or basically this ios system data varies phone to phone because it also goes away it also comes down if you you know clear your safari browser cache or things like that so no need to worry but if it is taking more than 20 gb probably you know there's a bug that could be involved if it is less than 10 gb then you're absolutely fine so then again I just wanted to mention about this so then again this was a quick video letting you know that I have received iOS 15.5 update on my iPhone 10R and you also can get this update if you are on beta profiles on your iPhone so then again let me know in the comment section whether you have liked the video or not and I will see you on my next video bye bye